Hey y'all, welcome back to Pancakes and Pandemonium. So guys, I'm really excited. This video is going to be a collaboration with my friend Tiffany and my friend Jess. Tiffany is over at Small Town 6 and Jess is Jessica Myros. And this is their Foodie Friday collab. And I've been wanting to do more food videos on my channel and this was the perfect opportunity. And if you know from other collabs I participated in, I adore these ladies so much. So if you're coming from their channel, hey and welcome. I hope you like and subscribe and stick around. If you are one of my viewers, after you watch this video, I would love for you to go check these ladies out and the other ladies in the playlist. They're fantastic. And you'll get some really, really great meal inspiration from them. I'm always blown away by these collabs. I love them. So for this Foodie Friday, I am showing you some of my favorite real deal lazy meals, okay? Do you ever hop on for a promise of lazy or easy meals and then they like start chopping an onion or vegetables and you're like, I'm out, no way. This is, <laughs> if it involves chopping, it is not lazy. I'm not doing that to you. Um, so these are assembly, minimal cooking, super easy, true lazy meals. These are meals I make for my family when we're in a pinch and you guys, it is the end of summer and it's the end of summer where we cross over with back to school. So we've got all the back to school shopping. We've got teachers meetings. We have classroom assignments. We have, if you're a special needs mom, you know, <laughs> So many things, plus the anxiety of upcoming IEPs and new placement, or will they keep their same placement? We have doctor's appointments. If you have a kid that plays sports, they probably need a sports physical. Guys, if it is not crazy yet, it's going to be. And then you have the first few weeks of school when everyone's brains are on the verge of exploding. And then you have to make dinner. I'm gonna give you some solutions for that today. So like this video, subscribe, let's jump in. First things first, rotisserie chicken, your best friend. It is the ultimate lazy meal hack. They're $4.99 at Costco. They made a promise to not raise their price with everything else's prices going up. And this is so functional, so multi-purpose, and it's going to show up in a few of our meals today. So here's everything for our first meal. Okay, so for our first meal, we're doing teriyaki rice bowls. There used to be a restaurant out here called Hokiyoki. It's a fast food place. And they partnered with another place called Teriyaki Sticks. And you would go and you would get these rice bowls. And you could get it with veggies, but you could just get teriyaki chicken and rice and that was my husband's favorite he misses them he can't believe they're not around anymore and so whenever I make this for him it just takes him right back in the spirit of true laziness we're not even cooking rice Costco has these packs of rice bowls it's a 12 pack so you know that all, that feeds my whole family and then a couple more. <laughs> you know, for your family, this might stretch for way more meals, but you know what? It's still a great deal and truly in a pinch, these are perfect. Let me show you. You have these little bowls, they're already cooked. You just pop them in the microwave. Uh, these would probably be really great easy lunches too, by the way. We're just gonna cut off some chicken breast. Yep. Minimal cutting, minimal chopping, no sauteing, no chopping onion, you know, getting those teary onion eyes. And listen, you can pull this apart and shred it if you want, it's up to you. A rice bowl in the microwave. Okay, so I put my diced chicken in here, drizzled on some teriyaki sauce. It's okay. 
I know you're like, ooh, that's a lot of sauce. You're gonna want it. It's gonna seep into the rice and be delicious. So we're warming up our rice. We're gonna pop this in the microwave when it's done for a minute and we're gonna have teriyaki bowls. Now you can put this in a bowl, you make it prettier. Or like I said, we can add vegetables. Uh, Costco does stir fry vegetables. So, you know, you can, you know, add those. But seriously, you guys, easy, basic, simple, as few dishes as humanly possible. Get all that delicious sauce out. All right, teriyaki chicken bowls for the win. Okay, next up, I've told y'all before, I really love to get a rotisserie chicken and a bagged salad. Recently, I've been switching it up and I have been getting the Costco spinach salad. It's a complete meal, it's healthy, it's high protein, it's got all this little stuff. It's got this poppy seed dressing, which is delicious. There, there's onion, there's bacon, there's cheese, there's craisins, there's egg. So when you take this salad and you pair it with some shredded chicken, again, just use your Costco rotisserie chicken. It is filling, especially like when you have kids that are growing like teenagers and tweens. There, you know, there's more bulk. It stretches, again, the rotisserie chicken is cheap. It's a great, easy dinner. It's a great alternative to take out. Everyone's gonna get full. Everyone's gonna be happy. So, Costco spinach salad, Costco shredded chicken, boom. Dinner perfection. Okay, our next couple of meals are gonna require a little bit of cooking. They're still gonna be super easy and minimal work. So we're gonna start softening up, kind of semi-cooking, four packs of ramen. I'm boiling the water in my kettle. All right. This is my Busy Night Chicken Yakisoba. It's ramen, sweet kale salad mix, cause it is full of like broccoli and kale and cabbage. So it cooks up beautifully and then chicken. Now, again, with all of these, you can add more stuff to it. If you want more vegetables in there, you can do it. If you want to slice up an onion, you can do that. But we are keeping things like as easy as humanly possible in these meals. I guess technically we're using four ingredients because we're also going to use this Japanese barbecue sauce. This is one of my favorite sauces. It is out of this world, insanely delicious and it just makes meals like this even easier. We're not gonna use these. Um, I just set these aside. We use them, you know, for quick broth, kind of a bouillon substitute. The kids will sometimes put them on popcorn, french fries. They're also great to season rice with. So I saved these, but we're not gonna use them tonight. Our water's boiling. Start sauteing vegetables. I'm just I'm gonna use this because I already have it in my fridge. But use olive oil, use avocado oil, use whatever like you have on hand. A little bit goes a long way. Save this for later. They're already getting soft. You don't have to start a whole other pot of water. Saute up and cook down for a minute. All right, we're gonna throw in a couple cups of our shredded up Costco rotisserie chicken.
Gave it a good toss. Now we're going to add sauce. This is a measure with your heart type situation. Boom. Guys, this is like a 10, 15 minute dinner. This cooks up super fast. You can garnish it with scallions, wonton strips. You can do, like I said, anything fancy you want, but it's a lazy night. So we are just serving, putting that up in bowls and serving it. Boom, dinner. Okay, next up we're gonna make an easy ravioli like pasta bake. You can layer it like lasagna, you can dump it all in, whatever is easiest for you. Uh, this, not only am I making, I'm gonna send this home with a friend so they have an easy dinner tonight that they really, really, you know, could use. So I'm gonna put it in a foil pan. And frankly, there's no shame in using a foil pan. Easy cleanup, less dishes, perfect when you just want a lazy meal. We've got, this is a half a pack because it's from Costco. It's chicken mozzarella ravioli. It's delicious. This is fresh mozzarella. Again, this is a half a pack. It's from Costco. And a fun fact about this, it's already sliced. And Rayos, guys, Rayos is so well seasoned. It's a flavor bomb. And I think it's the ultimate hack when you want something really easy for a lazy night and you don't want to have to doctor anything up. And we're just gonna layer in the fresh pasta. We're just gonna go ahead and finish off the Rayos. All right, we're just gonna give that a toss in the Rayos. I'm gonna top it with that beautiful fresh mozzarella. It's already sliced for us. Super easy. Okay, look, you have a couple pieces left to snack on. Guys, that's it. It's gonna cook in a 350 degree oven for like 20 minutes. It's fresh pasta, so it's gonna cook. It's gonna cook in the sauce. The cheese is gonna get melty. Um, a tip real quick. Fresh mozzarella can be kind of bland. So just grab your salt. Just give it, you know, salt to it. Okay, 350, 25-ish minutes. Boom, chicken mozzarella ravioli bake. Easy, delicious, perfect for a lazy night. Okay, for this next meal, it's gonna be easy. Another three ingredient meal. First, we're gonna start with a bag of pasta and I'm gonna treat it like we did the ramen. So I've got it in a bowl, the same bowl. I'm gonna pour boiling water on it and let it kinda start to cook while we saute everything else up. So, um, but yeah, fresh pasta is perfect on nights like these. I know it can feel like, oh, it's expensive. Oh, the other stuff is shelf stable. But when you're in a pinch, these cook in like sheer minutes, half the time as dried pasta, sometimes even quicker. So this is your best friend on a lazy night. Another really great option for some of these meals, especially, if you wanna go really lazy and you don't wanna do the hot water method, you can buy already cooked pasta. I have a big family, so these can really add up, buying enough to feed everybody, but especially if you're just making it for two or four, these are great. Sometimes you can find them at Dollar Tree, so you can get ready pasta. It'll go even faster. Turn that to medium. We're gonna add our garlic butter shrimp. This is what we're using. It comes with two 16 ounce bags at Costco. And then we're gonna add some fire roasted vegetable melange. Just eyeball it, whatever your family will eat. This is just gonna cook and saute and by the time this is ready, it'll be time to add the pasta. So just so you can see how this works, I know when I dumped it in, it looked like fried shrimp. The sauce is wrapped around the shrimp. 
and it's frozen that way. So it cooks and releases the sauce. I'm going to start tossing in the pasta. There you go guys, it's ready in about 20 minutes. I added a little bit of pasta water, just straight out of the bowl, in there, brought it all together nicely. Just like any of the other dinners, you can add more, you can add more Parmesan to it, you could add more garlic if you wanted it garlickier. You could even take away. Um, if you don't want the vegetables in there, or you don't want to grab the vegetables, or you, you know, and leave the vegetables out you could swap it with just spinach you know uh, tons of things you can do this you could even drizzle in some heavy cream make it a creamier sauce so you know it just depends on how much more you want to add or just how basic and simple you want to keep it what I love about this every element has flavor and they come together really well it's fast it's easy so that's all I got for you guys today. I hope that you gave you some great ideas, some inspiration. You can throw together easy, flavorful meals. And it doesn't always have to be frozen pizza or takeout, you know? And you can have dinner done super fast when you're tired, when you're exhausted, or, you know, when you have just a few minutes to be home for dinner before you're on to the next thing, right? I'll tell you another thing. These dinners are so easy. I cooked these all for you today, same day. I have a dislocated rib. It's a fun story for another video. And I could still do five easy dinners and manage it well. They're that easy. So, so I hope you try these. You guys comment down below, tell me which ones you're gonna try first or which one you're excited to try and like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet and come back a big shout out to tiffany and jess and thank you again for hosting this collab i love and adore these ladies like i said in the beginning so make sure you check out their videos and the other ladies in the playlist and come back i got more where this came from and i can't wait to show you bye